Hello and welcome to the Hooniverse and to a brand new video. Now the Doctor is an iconic character, one that can not only travel in time, but they also don't age like the rest of us. Instead they regenerate all the cells in their body, burning the old in a burst of energy and making a whole new body. A whole new Doctor, but always with the same mind. Yes, the personality may be different, but underneath it all it's the same person every time. The Doctor still ages, they just don't show it like the rest of us. So, today's question is this. How old is the Doctor? How many years has the Doctor been alive? I'm going to break the Doctor's life down, regeneration by regeneration, to find the answer. So let's start with the Time Lord's life as they remember it, before we dive into more recent revelations. The first Doctor may have appeared to us as an elderly man in a junkyard in the beginning, shrouded in mystery. However, thanks to his future self, we have some ideas of his age. Firstly, we know he was eight years old when he ran away at the sight of the untempered schism as part of the Time Lord initiation. Then, at the age of 45, he left primary school, and following this, he visited the Medusa Cascade at the age of 90 when he was just a kid. We know, thanks to some maths between Romana I and the Fourth Doctor, that the Doctor first left Gallifrey in his stolen TARDIS at the age of 236. We know that the Doctor regenerated for the first time in his memory at 450 years old, with the second Doctor regenerating only 50 or so years later. As he was exiled by the Time Lords, he revealed his age to be a 10 to 500 during an adventure with Aztec treasure. The third Doctor made some bold claims such as being a scientist for thousands of years. However, this could be put down to exaggeration. His breadth of experience of a time traveller, or even that he is counting his age not in Earth years, but Gallifreyan. After the third Doctor's regeneration at the hands of the Eight Legs, his fourth incarnation first said his age was 750 years old, claiming this was like middle age for a Time Lord. Maybe this is where the lying started, or maybe his memory and time travelling just made keeping track a nightmare. It's not like he could use a calendar after all. The Doctor was aged four years due to the Chrono Compensator in an adventure with the Time Witch. He decided he would still think himself as 743, or 730, and admitted he couldn't remember. Later he would claim to be 760 years old. His adventures continuing, he spent around five years on Earth, after being stranded in 1917, with Romana and his TARDIS stuck in 1922. When he regenerated after many battles, planets and places, he was 813 years old. The Fifth Doctor may have looked the youngest so far, but he was old by the time he battled Omega. He said he was 900 years old, however when picking up Perry Brown shortly before his regeneration, he said he was closer to 850. The Sixth Doctor would make many claims of being 900 years old, throughout his time in the TARDIS, which suggests he had plenty of travels on his own, as Perry is present where he claims this, and the previous 850 years of age, and by the time of his regeneration, he estimates to be around 953 years old, as he claims to be the same age as the villainous Rani. The Seventh Doctor would go on to celebrate his thousandth birthday, and later regenerate at the age of 1009. The Eighth Doctor would go on to say he was 1012, three years after regeneration, while also saying he was aged three, deciding to start counting from zero when his body changed. However, this isn't something he stuck with, later claiming to be 1,018 years old. During his adventures, this Doctor would be trapped on Earth between 1890 and 2001. So that's 111 years more, so that's at least 1,129 years old. Then, while travelling with Lucy Miller, the Doctor spends a whopping 600 years on the planet Orbis, which would make him 1,729 years old. However, the Doctor says this about his age in this adventure. To be honest, I lost track of how old I really was eons ago. I tend to round it down a bit, making a few adjustments for variations in year length across the cosmos. I could be 400 years old, 700, 900, or on some parts of a particularly obscure galaxy, I'd be just, uh, two. We don't know exactly how old the Eighth Doctor was when he regenerated on Khan, but we do know what happened after was very complicated. The War Doctor fought in the raging fires of battle for 400 years. This wasn't any war though, this was the last great time war. A conflict that messed with time itself, ageing and de-ageing planets out of and into existence, resurrecting people as fast as killing them, and rewriting much of time itself. 
The war may have lasted 400 years in linear time, but in reality it would have felt like an eternity. An eternity that was full of messed up rewritten time with battles won and then lost and then won again. So much suffering and time travelling, a mess that made the Doctor not thousands of years old, but instead only 800. Perhaps the years really did get away from him, as the war ended, his tired body regenerated once more. The Ninth Doctor claims to be 900 years old, on multiple occasions, and later finds himself stuck on Earth between 1894 and 1922, waiting for Rose Tyler, making him, in reality, 928. Once the Doctor entered his tenth incarnation, he said he was 900 years old. He would then spend three years escaping the prison Volak Nock, and finding Martha Jones, making him 903. The Doctor did spend one year imprisoned by the Saxon Master, however this time was reversed by the destruction of the Paradox Machine. However, the memories remained. And by the time of the Tenth Doctor's final battle with the Time Lords and the Master Race, he was 906. The Eleventh Doctor said he was 907 on multiple occasions, later saying he was 909 when first visiting Lake Silencio. He would continue travelling and meeting people, claiming to have loved bedtime stories about a thousand years ago when he was George's age of eight years old, making the Doctor 1008. He would go on a farewell tour and accept his fate at Lake Silencio, aged 1103. The Doctor continued his adventures through time and space, eventually claiming to be 1,200 years old. He spent some time in retirement mourning the loss of Amy and Rory, and later in solitude looking for Clara Oswald. He would then spend 900 years defending the town of Christmas on Trenzalore, making his age at the youngest 2,100 years old when he regenerated. Now the Twelfth Doctor would claim to be over 2,000 years old on multiple occasions, and would be in stasis for 139 years from 1980 to 2119, during a battle with the Fisher King. However, he doesn't age physically or mentally during this time. The Doctor would then go on to be trapped within his Confession Dial, a Time Lord device that kept him imprisoned for four and a half billion years, with him burning copies of himself and punching through a wall many times harder than Diamond. There's lots of controversy as to whether this counts as the Doctor's age or not, because it's a new body each time. Now I've grabbed a quote from writer and showrunner Stephen Moffat from Doctor Who magazine, issue 495, on the subject which follows. Well, technically it shouldn't be possible that he remembers. Each time he burns himself up to power the teleport, he prints a new version of the man he was, with only the memories he had on arrival. So what does he mean when he says he remembers when he clearly can't? Personally, I think there's more to it. Remember he's trapped inside his own confession dial. The castle chambers and the monster slouching towards him are composed of his worst nightmares, and his nightmares are composed of his worst memories. In a world designed to suck your bad dreams from your mind and feed them back to you, isn't it possible that his worst day, the one he's living right now, again and again, is hanging in the air around him? He's trapped in the Wi-Fi of his bad dreams, and he can't shut them out. So yes, I suppose he has four and a half billion years worth of memories in his head, but loads of the details are identical, so for the Doctor's sake, let's assume that a lot of data compression is possible. So, the Doctor can remember many more years than he's physically lived through. He still refers to himself as having lived for over 2,000 years on many more occasions. He then spends 24 years with River Song on Derillium, and between 50 and 70 working at the university guarding the vault. The Doctor even spends 100 years on the planet Stowe after being sent back in time by a weeping angel, which makes the Doctor at least 2,174 years old. The 13th Doctor is more secretive in respects to her past, and perhaps that's due to its uncertainty and lack of clarity. At this stage, the Doctor has lost count of their age multiple times, as evident throughout the video, knocking decades and centuries off here and there, but here's where it gets especially complicated. During the 13th Doctor's travels, we discover the Doctor has experienced a memory wipe before their very first incarnation. Instead, the Doctor has been alive a long, long time, found at the base of a monument by Tektayun, a Shabogan, the first natives of Gallifrey. They would harness the Doctor's DNA and ability to regenerate, and become the Time Lords. The Doctor is actually older than the Time Lord society and structures with their rescue or capture by Tektayun, dating to the earliest space travellers of Gallifrey. What does this mean? Well, it means the Doctor has lived countless lives, lived lifetimes they don't remember and those we haven't even seen. 
The closest we have is the fugitive doctor who spent years working for the Division alongside Gat and hiding in human form on Earth too. Now we know from Razalon, who was present as one of the founders of Time Lord society and technology, that Time Lord history has been recorded for over one billion years. So does that make the Doctor over a billion years old? Well, the 14th Doctor does tell Donna Noble that he is over a billion years old, perhaps in an attempt at exaggeration, but in fact might be closer to the truth than he wants to be. The 15th Doctor hasn't even stated his age yet, However, another element that makes the age of the Doctor timey-wimey is by generation. Instead of traditionally regenerating, burning the old body's cells to create a new one, the Doctor actually splits in two, living out their lives separately. The 15th Doctor says they are doing therapy in the wrong order, meaning perhaps the 15th Doctor possesses the years and memories the 14th Doctor will go on to live, being pulled from the end of the 14th Doctor's body's timeline to that present moment. It's very, very complicated and confusing. If I had to give it a ballpark figure on the Doctor's age, I would say over one billion years old. The thing is, it's a show about time travel, and the Doctor has travelled in time more than anyone. And in terms of travelling in space, well, a year is defined as the time it takes for a planet to complete a full rotation around the Sun. But the speed of orbit, strength of gravity, and size of the planet can make some big changes. One night on Derelium lasts 24 years on Earth. What years is the Doctor using? It's mind-boggling stuff, but hopefully this video laid out the facts, the numbers we know, including adventures on TV, books, audios, and comics too. It's a crazy topic, and perhaps the age of the Doctor doesn't really matter. There's still a timeless hero that's seen worlds turn to dust, stars born and die. They'll continue fighting evil, passing through, helping out, saving the universe, one day at a time. They are still the Doctor however many years go past, and something tells me it's a story without limit or barriers, a story that will go on forever. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any of your own ideas on how old the Doctor is, please leave them in the comments below, I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.